Hello all, this is Jay with Elegant Edits, and uh, yeah, today's my birthday. So, uh, I don't get too excited about things like this because it's just another day, but I'm glad to be here. Uh, so, the thing about it is, I could be doing anything on my birthday, but I want to share with people, especially young entrepreneurs, that there are certain things that you will have to endure uh, and challenges that you have to face in whatever field you decide to go into, whether it's printing or social media management or whatever you do, there will be a set of challenges. But specifically in business across the board, there will be some days like here, Dallas, Texas, well, the shop is in Cedar Hill, but 10 minutes from Dallas, Texas, it's, it's really uh, overcast today. And so I could have rolled back over you know, in the bed this morning and decided not to come in, but it takes these days of digging deep. Uh, you know, treat your business like a nine to five. What you'll find, rather, is that when you treat your business like a nine to five, you'll, you'll come to realize that you're gonna be working, uh, so not 24 seven, but 20, 25, eight. Um, and that's what it's going to take to be successful. Uh, not necessarily monetarily successful, but just the people you may come in contact with. And uh, because if you focus on that, the money will follow. Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing today is setting up for the week here. And I'm also going to be uh, converting this printer, this Epson 7890. I got it about a month ago. I apologize for the people who also purchased this printer and they're kind of waiting on me to do my conversion, so I can't let you down. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be pretty interesting. So I, I didn't realize that, you know, that would be the, the case. I thought I was just doing this for me, uh, but that's okay. I, this won't be like a tutorial. Uh, it can turn into that, but I don't know. It may be a long video, but again, we're just going into this. I've looked at probably 40 minutes worth of content and I'm drawing on my past knowledge of the Epson 8, uh, 3880, which is actually my favorite printer of all time, but that's a story for another time. Um, so I guess I could go over the list of materials here, uh, so I won't be too winded. It's gonna already gonna be long enough. Uh, but uh, let's see here. We have the 24 inch roll of film here. Man. <laughs> That's the big boy. So this roll of film was uh, sourced from Kingdom DTF. You know, I love them. They got to work a little bit on the customer service side, but it's a new company. You have to give them some grace, but the pricing is there. And also when you truly need the support, they will respond. Uh, so that roll was $249.97 USD. Uh, we have the DTF ink from McLeod. I'm, I doubt you can see this, but we ordered this DTF ink from McLeod. And we ordered, uh, was this a liter? Yeah, a liter of basically each channel, a, a liter of ink for each channel, rather. And so uh, that DTF ink from McLeod was $477.35. So you know, the price tag is going up a little bit. The printer itself um, was $1,500, and then I paid uh, the gentleman that I mentioned in one of my earlier videos who knows way more than me about printing. Uh, we sourced the actual printer for $1,500, and then I paid him an extra $100 to deliver it because I don't have a truck. So don't let anything limit you. You know, I he could have easily have said no, but I just said, hey, I don't have a truck. Would you be willing to deliver it? And he said, it depends on how far. And I said, well, you know, what, what would it be? And he said, $100, and I had to, I was at the mercy of that. Uh, but he was more than willing, helped strap it up uh, and everything. So think outside the box. Don't think about how it's gonna get there or how it's gonna uh, take shape. But again, moving on. Uh, so we got, actually, we need two sets of cartridges here. And these cartridges we source from, uh, oh, and the piezo flush. So if 
you're new to the printing world, Piezo Flush is, in my opinion, the best cleaning solution because it's concentrated. So, because it's concentrated, we, um, I'll get to that later, but it's, it's just a really, in short, it's a really good cleaning solution because we need to purge all of these inks out of this printer. I don't want the OEM inks, which uh, the original owner of this printer, he ran strictly OEM inks through this printer, and that's important uh, because when you talk about switching, let's say he converted it from OEM to sublimation and then sublimation to DTF, you have three different ink sets that are, you know, molecularly different. You know, they're uh, formulated different. Uh, the viscosity or the, 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 how fluid the inks are, the weight of them is different. And I don't want all of these different types of inks mixing because it's going to ensure the life uh, and further uh, prolong any sort of issues that we're going to have with the print head. So, again, we got the cartridges, the piezo flush. From, it's from Inkjet Mall. And the price on that was $678.62. Maybe I'll edit it in the video where I kind of just have it floating there. But these are 350 mil carts. Uh, and I believe the original ones are 70 mil. But the, the cover should still close. But we needed two sets of these. So with these two sets of cartridges we need one set for our cleaning solution that's just how i do things i don't know any other way to do it uh but you need one set for the cleaning solution the piezo flush and then you need another set for obviously the inks so let's set this over here we also have two gallons of distilled water not drinking water uh, drinking water has, uh, you know, minerals for your body. Those same minerals can, over time, I mean, it's, it's very technical, but over time, those particulates in the water and the, not chemicals, but the components of the water, which might be go okay for your body, are not going to be so okay for the print head. So we're going to use distilled water, and because we have the piezo flush, what we're going to do, um, and this isn't my, this isn't my rule. I went to the forums and asked because it's very expensive. Let's not kid ourselves. Very expensive. And one of the guys on the forums is now a pretty good friend of mine here over the past two months. He said to cut it because this, this is so, uh, heavily concentrated that unless I were going to leave it in the printer, like to go on vacation, uh, I wouldn't need to pour straight piezo because I almost got two of these. But we're going to cut it one part piezo and two parts distilled water so that it stretches, you know, the volume that we get. We can do more cleaning cycles because all I'm trying to do is just push these inks through the solution and he said that will be enough. Uh, so that's what the distilled water is for. It's cheaper than regular drinking water. It might be like a dollar for a whole gallon at uh, like Walmart. Uh, I ordered Amazon uh, from Amazon. They delivered it the same day from Amazon Fresh, and it was still a dollar. So there's that. Uh, what's next here? We have the the other consumables, and I believe we ordered these uh, with the carts. Yes, we ordered these through the carts. These are the 60, yeah, 60 milliliter um, syringes that have the big plungers on them. These are big mamas here because I don't want to be, I mean, look at the volume of these, uh, look at the volume of these carts. You know, you don't want to be there all day trying to draw ink. And we also have the priming syringes here. I don't know if that's going to focus from the same company. We source these chip reset. We have a, uh, a maintenance tank resetter, maintenance tank chip resetter. 
because this has two maintenance tanks that we have to reset. And so the mindset is that we will reset the tanks and we have a resetter for the cartridges. So this particular printer, as well as the, or it just has 7900 on it, uh, but it's compatible with, I believe, three or four different models. But these here are the ink tank. What, when I go to purge these inks, I'm gonna make sure that we put fresh maintenance tanks, both of them, because you don't want this process to stop in the middle of purging because it'll make waste either more solution or it'll waste more ink. So we're gonna start off fresh, and instead of paying $30 or whatever these were, how much were these? Um, these. I think we sourced these from eBay, as well as the, I don't think I told you that, but yeah, we sourced the, the chip resetters and the maintenance cards from eBay. I wanna say these are about 30, between 30 and $40 a piece, don't quote me on that. And the resetters are about 20 to $30 a piece as well. So I know if you're, if you're watching this, you're kind of looking at these numbers and you're like, whoa, but keep in mind that the cheapest 24 inch DTF printer, if you buy it, convert it, it's gonna be one of these older machines. Uh, and if you comment on some of these uh, suppliers videos, they're not gonna tell you what, you can clearly tell in the video, it's an Epson model printer, but if you say, hey, is that the Epson, Epson 7900? They're not going to tell you yes, because it's it's like a, con not a conflict of interest, but it's a, it's, they have their self-interest in it. It's not a bad thing, it's just bad business. I would do it to help you, but everybody's not like that. Uh, so not to compare anyone, but I'm just not built like that. Um, so to order one of those printers, you're looking at six to eight thousand dollars, and just so price tag of two to three thousand dollars versus eight. That's only if you want the 24 inch printer. Now, if you're just going to run your own prints, excuse me, if you're going to run your own prints, I would suggest that you may not want to upgrade to a 24 inch unless your demand is just that high. I would, I would recommend a printer this large of, of the wide format range for those who want to print transfers for people. So if that's going to be your business model, uh, model, or you run a shop like it has to, I, I'm on, I'm hitting it on both fronts because our demand, um, you know, has increased, as well as we are heading in a different direction, not different, but we are trying to expand. And if I can do this correctly, if it, if I'm successful with it, I'll share this with you as well. Uh, but always look toward scaling your business so aside from that i keep pausing i know some of you guys like it some of you probably hate it but you know we're here and it's my birthday give me some grace so i think that is it aside from these here and i think these were uh, i think it's dtg mark i don't know why i didn't write this down uh, DTG mark so these are the replacement sponges so usually how this would work yeah there are li these little um, pinholes on the sides and you would pry these off with a screwdriver and then you would just place it inside and remove this and this used pad will now thank you hope you can see me this used pad will now be waste but and then we would you know put the maintenance chip resetter against this to reset this cart and we're good to go we aren't paying forty dollars twice a week on consumables that's not gonna happen so just order the sponges the replacement sponges to be honest i used to get towels for free um like clean towels for free from a job when i picked up part-time hours about three or four years ago and they gave me a trash bag of washcloths and when I had the uh, Epson 3880 I just folded them neatly about this size which the 3880 they're a little bit smaller but uh, and then I would throw that towel out 
So, you know, because you, you're talking about moisture, darkness, perfect breeding ground for mold, so there's no reusing those. I would just toss them out, fold a new towel up, reset the cart, and we're good to go. So, that's, that's, a, that's an idea there. If you're in a pinch or if you just don't want to buy these sponges. Uh, but th with the sponges, you're going to obviously have a greater absorbency um, for the purging, uh, for the maintenance thing. So I believe that's it. I hope I'm not missing anything. I hate to waste your guys, you guys' time, but I know you guys have been waiting on this, so I'm trying to be as thorough as possible. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get into it.